Howdy, 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 my darling Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka Leo, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for March 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, Leo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, as well as let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you. All right, darling? So let's just jump right into your reading here today, Leo. Let's see where the vibes are at, darling. What's good? What's popping, honey? Okay, what's going on with my Leos right now? <laughs> darling we have the five of pentacles coming in here all right leo i don't like this starting energy honey what's going on darling what's going on with you seven of cups coming in here choices 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 but you're not sure what choice to make here because of something internally here you're doubting yourself uh leo that's not very leo like of you honey all right what's going on here and then the sun energy okay leo i see where this is bless your heart darling all right eight of cups energy stepping in in the back of the deck here all right some of you leos here you are feeling so called to just making some type of disconnect in your life i don't feel like you have quite yet because i feel like you're telling yourself you're not you feel as if you're not ready uh with the seven of cups here you might be overwhelmed by the amount of choices of like what you could be doing uh right now leo to get to your destination here all right it's almost like paralysis by over analysis or paralysis by just so many options right i don't know why i need to just use this as an analogy i don't know why this is coming in my head leo but it makes me think of like when sharks or like sharks uh or like whales or something in the ocean want to like go after a fish but fishes go in like big schools right and so they get overwhelmed by the choices and they don't know which one to go so they end up not getting anything here um for you guys, Leo, I just want to be telling you guys that it's just like everything's going to be okay, darling, right? I just, I can't help but feel like I want to give you all a hug right now because it's like you're overthinking things because it's like you're just ready for some good to be happening. You're ready for the sun to be shining on your life, on your situation here. And I don't want this to come off as, uh, Leo, where you feel as if you're feeling sorry for yourself or anything because I don't think that's the case at all. You just are ready to catch a break here, right? you're ready to start feeling better about yourself. Some of you Leos, you might have started just recently, started taking action towards, um, you know, working out, eating better, maybe having a better sleep schedule, skincare routine, darling. Did, did some of y'all get into some skincare, honey? Come on now, I celebrate you. Give me some tips, honey. Let's swap some skincare tips if that is the case. Um, to get better with yourself if you haven't started it i do suggest uh, that for you leo because some of you guys haven't been yourself lately some of y'all haven't been yourself lately maybe due to past connections or maybe just like just the heaviness of the world right now uh leo is what i feel some of you guys you might be impacted by what's going on with the world events right now right we don't need to talk about it right but we you know if you know honey some of you uh leos i feel like you need to just cleanse yourself if you have been just feeling like a little bit um spacey or just like uh just in this place or just like feel like you're just floating on but like not feeling not very grounded that's what i feel like you need sh some of y'all should be doing leos take some type of effort to start grounding yourself to start feeling better about yourself because some of y'all are trying to understand like what is even going on with you personally here you have the five of cups coming in here with the seven of pentacles so what happened recently for a lot of you leos is that some uh, one of your one of your investments one of your crops ended up being under uh, being bad right you were investing in like a person or working with a person here you're working with some energy here and disappointment happened and so from that point on you're just like well you don't know where to go from here because you were putting all of your energy into this one thing you thought it was going to be working out here uh leo and the message i want to be telling you guys right now is that don't be internalizing it all right don't be internalizing it just because you had some weeds sprout up in your garden just because the situation and it's easier said than done darling right it's obviously a lot easier for me leo to just be like oh darling don't pay any, any mind right because i'm not the one actively involved right but what i can be telling you leos is that um y'all have i mean with that sun energy being the heart of the spread here y'all have good things your story is going to be getting better here but i feel like right now the best course of action for you is uh to be prioritizing like your mental health your emotional health here all right because i feel like that's going to be playing a very big role in regards to how you um bring forth uh more happiness and just abundance in your life here you have the nine of cups energy so 
here's the thing, uh, Leo. You with this old situation, the reason why things became up started uprooting itself, even though you put you you thought the world of this energy, you thought this was going to go the mile, honey, right? You thought this was gonna be like you this is gonna you set you had your future set honey right the thing about it is spirit sees this and you're just like uh-uh leo is settling with this energy here leo leo deserves so much more than what the situation is you know for the um from spirit's point of view this nine of cups is just like yeah this might feel good leo but there's something there's an uh option here that is going to be instead of the nine of cups completely fulfilling with that ten of cups energy all right remember that we had the eight of cups energy in the back of the deck and then we pull uh at the beginning and then the nine of cups here and then you know the eight of cups is the storyline of like this person leaving their eight cups to go to a situation that's more fulfilling in hopes of the ten of cups where it's that complete fulfillment and so just because right now you have this disappointment where you're just like man i thought this was going to really work out here um uh, be hopeful for like what's coming because if you thought this was going to be good darling wait until you see what spirit has in mind for you all right wait until you see what spirit has in mind for you because star energy right y'all were settling with something else yet this nine of cups is known as the wish being granted uh leo but the star energy takes that energy and it elevates it by like 20 honey right this is like everything that you wanted right if you wanted that white picket fence that um stereotypical marriage honey where you have the kids the golden retriever honey with the doggy door dialing right it, whatever it is that you have like this perfect scenario in your head because this other energy came along and it started giving s like signs of that where you're just like oh, okay like this is you know there's no white picket fence honey it might be chain link but it'll do right and spirit's just like uh 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 leo we ain't do we don't do no chain link fence honey we do a white picket fence we do the most bougie the over expensive fences here dialing all right and so for you guys leo i can i can and i can understand this right especially with what's going on in the world right when you have something that's like initially does just feels good you're just wanting to just grab it and just like hold it for dear life honey because you don't know when another good time is going to be coming honey right but spirit's telling you leo it's just like no don't be setting up camp with this honey don't be setting up camp with this because you deserve so much more you actually could get the ten of cups you could get everything that it is that you are needing to desire or wanting that you are desiring rather you have the king of cups a lot of emotions here leo a lot of cups energy a lot of water energy here king of cups coming in here with the page of swords so socially for some of you uh leos here i feel like you're going to be attracting someone that's a lot more um emotionally available is what i hear some of you guys are going to be attracting someone that's a lot more emotionally available page of swords is someone that keeps an eye on you um new communication as well with this queen of pentacles energy stepping forward as well so fact of the matter is for you leo right now while yes you're dealing with these disappointments it's for your it's for the greater good for you it's like for you being that queen of pentacles energy that is the card of being self of self-care right and so for you as you start doing that like it's like your spiritual team leo the only way i can summarize this is that your spiritual team wants to give you so much more than what you're accepting currently but you are accepting stuff that just isn't deserving of you you there's like an energy that you are quite literally out like out of their league does that make sense is like you are out of their league <laughs> Does that make sense? Like you are above the other person. I don't know why that sounds weird to me right now. Uh, you have the Gibbous Moon. You're so close to achieving your goal. And you know this, right? Because the eight and nine of cups, darling, you're so close to getting to that 10 of cups. You just have to continue walking further. You know, you start out as that eight of cups journey, right? Where you leave that eight of cups, eight cups, and then you walk into a place that has nine cups and you're just like, oh, well, this is good. I don't know if I can get any better than that. So you stay there. Uh-uh. You don't want to be doing that, Leo. That's what is going on here. You don't want to be doing that because you can continue going for further and get to your 10 cups i hope these analogies are making sense leo in my brain it makes a lot of sense but it might come off as confusing unfortunately um you have here the a time to give rather than take new moon and virgo here as well as leo uh your hard work is paying off capricorn all right new moon in capricorn there's a lot of messages here uh leo of self-care taking care of yourself here i feel as if emotionally for you guys right now y'all are just so drained right y'all are so drained and that might be why it is that you are really just wanting just just like a sliver of some goodness honey and so for some of you guys you might be even trying to argue with your spiritual team and just be like hey darling like i know you say that i'm worthy of 10 cups 
cups right now but right now this nine of cups is hitting right now what it needs to be hitting you know <laughs> some of you guys are just telling you their spiritual team is just like i'm not ready for a new like i don't like i know i deserve more but I, this is okay for now right you want to catch that breather but that's not how spirit works honey all right Leo, if you're not going to be the one to love yourself and prioritize yourself even higher, Spirit's going to do that for you, honey, all right? And with that, Queen, I feel like so many of y'all right now, Leo, would really benefit for some grounding right now because of that tower energy. Y'all might be uh, feeling a little bit unhinged just due to the fact of... Girl, this was the temperance energy. <laughs> Couldn't hold on to it. More cups energy here. Can I also note that temperance always represents cups as well? tower energy with this temperance due to some past disappointment when whatever happened here it, ha it gives me the sense of urgency that you want to just keep on going to get to that ace of cups right there we get that final cup that creates that ten of cups honey right and then you have the ace of wands in the back of the deck here as well two aces here so y'all Y'all would really benefit right now, Leo, into um, doing some grounding practices. I never usually tell people to ground because that's usually your business and it still is your business, Leo. But I feel like y'all would do really good with some grounding or some cleansing right now. You know what, Leo? I haven't done this in a hot biscuit. If you guys want, Leo, some outside assistance when it comes to your grounding um, during this week of this video being uploaded, I will be planning a ritual for this coming weekend on Sunday because um, I always do like a cleansing ritual for myself each week just because i always have a lot of energies coming in i deal with a lot of energies and so leo if you want to be included in that cleansing ritual that i do just let me know in the comments below that you want to be included i don't need any information from you other than just maybe like a nickname or something like that right and then i'll just keep include your name because i feel like a lot of you guys i don't know why i just feel like it's, there's this sense of self-care something just to remind you of who you actually are uh leo is what i hear <clears throat> You have the two of wands think further into the future here leo that's really what it is think about the bigger picture well yes this current situation here might feel good and it sucks that it went down right but don't try to do damage control don't try to pick up the rubble of that tower moment because i don't know what happened with you guys don't try to save that tower don't try to save that tower don't try to re excuse me rebuild that tower let the let that rubble be rubble honey all right don't try to pick up those pieces again continue going further because think about the bigger picture two of wands is looking far out into the future here this is where you are like you can get to this ace of cups ace of cups is that beautiful opportunity beautiful new love in your life here right don't settle because you can have it all you're not being greedy about it it's just because you are going through that rough spot honey leo i promise you it's going to get so much better darling all right um you're so close to achieving your goal darling right with that gibbous as i said you're so close to getting to your 10 cups of having everything and then some don't give up now all right you're so close you know i know you're tired darling but keep on pushing through leo all right so that is the reading that i have for you darling leo hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you in this reading today if you did let me know in the comments below if you want to book a private reading with me leo my website's linked as well down below simply Valkar. Dot com next to my social media is tiktok and instagram both of those just being simply velka darling and uh yeah my beautiful leo i'll be connecting with you hopefully sometime in the near future bye darling